Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Candace. Today I'm doing a detailed review on the Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse in Red Emprunt Leather. So I've had this bag for a few years now and I know they have two different reds. The red is currently on the site, it's called Scarlet. This one is a bit lighter than that. It is a difference. That one is a little darker. It's still red, but this one is more like a tomato red. You see that? It has gold hardware. I do need to get it repaired because I have damage on my metal hardware. But as y'all know, I bought it during the time, you know, a few years ago when I really wasn't babying my bags. I was literally just tossing them around and putting them anywhere. For photo shoots, I would toss them in the back of my car. I know, terrible. But once I learned about resale value and all of that, that's when I really started taking better care of them. But this is one of my favorite bags. I know some people only wear red during the holidays. I'm not one of those people. I wear my bags whenever I want, you know, this bag retails for $24.20, $2,420. And I'm not about to wear it just one season. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna get the most wear possible. You can wear red in the summertime, in the springtime. I plan on doing just that, okay? It has this top handle here. It's kind of stiff. So, and not just stiff, but also short. So it's not one of those bags. You can slide it down your arm and wear it in a crook of your arm. Can't do that. You literally can put your fingers under here and let that be that. You can also do it this way if you want, but that's what it looks like. It has a squeeze and open closure. So you squeeze this together and flip this up. That's how it opens. Actually, this opening reminds me of another bag that I have. It reminds me of the Farla Celeste Metropolis mini crossbody bag. As you can see, they have the same type of opening mechanism here. This one is a bit wider, but it has the same technique. You squeeze it, you pop it open. Just wanted to show you that it's not just exclusive to Louis Vuitton. There are other brands that do it as well. But you squeeze this and you open it. Boom. I have a bag insert in here. I will take that out just so we can talk about what fits and all of that. So I will link my bag insert down below. It's kind of boring. I know it's a boring color, but it really pops against the red. I wanted something lighter so I can see the stuff I put in the inside. A dust bag and some Starbucks napkins because we like to put napkins in our purse when we go to eat places. I know I'm not the only person that does that. I don't know if that's just a Southern thing. Let me know in the comments if you guys do that too. But it has two, or has one divider in the middle. It has striped interior lining, which is cute. Also, there's a skinnier flap back here. That's a bit flatter. You can put flat things back there. I wouldn't recommend putting anything super puffy because Emprunt Leather is very soft and buttery and you can easily stretch it out if you're not careful. It's not super stiff like their traditional monogram leather, so keep that in mind. Also, very low maintenance. Literally the only damage, even without me babying it, the only damage I have is on the hardware. I'm gonna get this repaired soon, okay? There's no zippers or anything in here. Literally, it's just those two dividers. So it is two dividers. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Back zipper as well. Zips very easily. That's also, you know, not super stiff. You can put flat things in there, but you can get away with slightly thicker things because you're going to wear it this way rather than, you know, showing it to the public. But let's talk about what fits in this baby obviously it's pretty big okay speaking of size okay the dimensions are 9.8 inches across 7.5 inches tall 2.8 inches width so 9.8 by 7.5 by 2.8 and the lock closure that it has here is actually called an s lock closure the strap drop, it does come with a longer strap. I don't have it on here, but I will show you. The strap drop is 18.9 inches. So that's how it falls. And then the maximum is 21.7 inches. So the strap itself is adjustable. I'll actually put that on for you now. Where is my strap? Okay, so here's the strap, exact same color. It's not on prompt, is standard leather doesn't have any type of pattern anything on it it's just leather it also has gold hardware and it twists around so very easy you know to adjust it and everything 
or to put it on. So it has two hooks on the sides and those clip right on. Also, I don't think I showed you on the side of the bag. That's what it looks like. So that front compartment and then the back one, it's pretty, you know, flat. And here's your wider compartment in the middle there. Let me clip the other hook on. Okay, so with the longer strap, this is what it looks like. Whoops. Here we go. I was wondering why that was like that. You can tuck that in here as a little, don't know what you call those exactly, but it protects the ends of your straps. So it doesn't bend out, you know how you can do that. But this is what it looks like with a longer strap. Okay, adjustable. And it's one of those, this is something I've never tried before. I've done it with like Gucci belts and things like that. My Hermes belt, I added holes. This is the type of leather which you can add holes if you want. I wouldn't do it because if you try to sell it, they might trip about that. So I'll be careful. Also, I wouldn't add holes to this particular strap because if you do that and you add a hole, the strap is gonna come farther out because it's not intended to go that far. So keep that in mind too. I would just stick with how many straps it has or how many holes it has and let that do. Okay, so let's talk about what fits. Obviously my iPhone 11 Pro Max fits in here. I'm gonna put that in the back pocket because it is flat enough to where it won't stick out or anything. Likewise, you can also slide this in the front pocket, but because, you know, it fits in there, we're gonna put it there. I have my mini pochette. God, why can't I think of the name of it? I'm gonna put that in this front pocket for quick access if I need lip gloss, anything like that. Okay. I have a Gucci face powder just because it fits. We're going to put that in that larger compartment there in the middle. I have a slim pack of gum. I'm normal today. I also put that in that front pocket. I have just this little hand lotion here that slides very easily on the side. My necessities are here. I have my card holder. It's time for me to swap this out. I've been carrying this for too long. Putting that in that middle compartment. I have my key fob here. Also slide that in there. And I have my six key from Louis Vuitton as well. Everything fits in there perfectly. And still pretty good height left too. So very, very roomy. You can fit more than the bare necessities in here. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna try to fit my agenda in here. This is the medium size. It just might fit. So what I'm gonna do is remove the Necess the non-necessities. So I don't really need my six key because I can get into my house regardless. I have to leave my card holder. Um, I don't need my phone in there. I just don't. I can, but I don't. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move my card holder to this back pocket here. Let me show y'all what I'm doing here. I'm gonna move my mini pochette to the back. Mm. Whoa, Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna remove everything out of the middle pocket and then find places to put the stuff back. I just wanna see if this fits in here. I believe it will. It fits. So the, the agenda, the medium agenda fits in this middle pocket here. Does it close? Whoa. You can force it closed. I'm probably leather. It's pretty flexible. It closes. Look at that. So if you just had to carry your medium agenda in your purse, you could do that. But I don't need to. I just want to show you guys that it fits perfectly if you need it, needed it to. But also keep in mind, if you're carrying your agenda inside of this, it has card slots. So you can put your credit cards in here just temporarily. Most people don't carry their credit cards in here just, you know, on a normal day. But if you had to carry this, it has card slots. So you don't need your card holder. So that's a bonus with that. So in that case, I can take out my card holder and have extra room left. Now it's not as bulky. It is slightly heavy. The agenda is gonna make any bag that you put in heavy. So there's kind of no way around that unless you don't have a lot of stuff in your agenda. But that's kind of the purpose. It is my life's organizer. I'm organizing two businesses in here. It's gonna be heavy, no matter what way I slice it. That's just the honest truth. So it holds a lot, very versatile, top handle, shoulder, crossbody. It sits pretty flat, not gonna topple over. This is pretty, it's not super structured. 
but it's structured enough to where it's not gonna topple over if you put it on a table. Love the gold hardware against the red. I think it's beautiful. You can wear it any time of year, it's my opinion, okay? I know a lot of people are not gonna agree with me. You think certain colors go with certain seasons? Yes, they do, but you're not limited to those seasons in my opinion. And that's just my thoughts. You spend too much on these bags to just wear them a few months out of the year, you know? Um, That's about it. I will have my bag insert link below, as I mentioned. Literally, you can only put it in one slot, this wider one on the front and back one. They're too skinny to put a bag insert, so it's kind of pointless. But this bag technically doesn't need a bag insert. And I say that because it has three dividers in there. If you want to go without getting the bag insert, I'm gonna always be honest with you, okay? And not just try to make commission off a bag insert. But for this bag, you also don't need one because it has three dividers. You can easily find what you need in here. And the interior is brighter. It's not black to where, you know, it's hard to find things. It's just not. Also, it has a Louis Vuitton Paris little decal on the back wall there, okay? I believe that's all the details about this bag. Very simple to style, believe it or not. Like with what I have on now, black and camo. With camo, red always looks bomb. And I would definitely wear it with this outfit I have on now. You could wear it with a monochromatic look, you know, black, white, if you want to wear it in the summertime. That's what I'm saying. You can wear these colors any time of year, all right? Just remember that. I told you that. Just do it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link a video to the right in case you missed it. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.